Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about our next graphical representation of a frequency distribution called a frequency polygon. So this is a line graph of frequencies. So if you've watched our videos about histograms, these are actually going to be very similar. The only difference is that instead of drawing a bar in each space that represents the height or the frequency, we instead draw a dot right in the middle and then we connect those dots so we can see the change from one class to the next. Just like histograms, each frequency polygram, sorry, polygon <laughs> needs to have a title. It needs to have axis labels. It needs to have axis scales. And then it will have data points connected by straight lines, okay? So let's look at our age data again. Same data we've been working with for the last several videos. And let's look at creating a frequency polygon just using the regular frequency. Okay, so I'm gonna start off creating my title like I normally do. So this is going to be a frequency polygon of ages. My horizontal axis is going to be of my ages, and I'm gonna note that those are in years. And my vertical axis is going to be my frequency. The next thing that I need to add are my scales on my horizontal and my vertical axis. So what we can do differently on the frequency polygon versus a histogram where we needed our bars to touch is we can actually just create a tick mark and say that this represents the class from 11 to 13. Moving over, the next one represents 14 to 16. And so basically I'm just putting my class boundaries here for each one. So I have 11 to 13, 14 to 16, 17 to 19, and 20 to 22. Okay, and above those tick marks is where I'm gonna place the dot on my frequency. So frequencies that I need to be able to show are one, five, and nine. So similar to our first histogram example, I'm just gonna count by ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna label my odd values. So adding the actual polygon portion above the 11 to 13, I'm going to graph my frequency for that class, which is five. So I'm gonna go to five and I'm going to put a dot on my graph. I'm gonna then go to my next class, 14 to 16, and place a dot at its frequency right above my tick mark there. So there's 19, or sorry, nine. Next one, 17 to 19, also has nine as its frequency. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my dot there. And then my last one has a frequency of one. So way down here, right above my tick mark at a height of one. I'm then gonna go in and I'm gonna connect my dots with straight lines. So a straight line from dot one to two, straight line from dot two to three, and straight line from dot three to four. And that is a frequency polygon for my age data. All right guys, catch you in the next video.